Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio and this is Risa's Rizzo's. And in today's video, I'm giving a full review on my products from Pros. If you haven't heard of Pros already, it's basically a line of products that are fully customizable based off of an in-depth consultation, answering things like your hair type, your environment, your lifestyle, your preference, and so much more. But before getting too much into it, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. All you have to do is click on that big bright red subscribe button. And then after clicking on the subscribe button, click on the bell, because the bell is what it's gonna turn on your notifications and then that way you'll never miss another one of my videos. So let's go back into pros. So like I was saying, they are fully customizable products. When I tell you fully customizable, you don't understand. Pros has the ability of creating more than 50 billion possible combinations. That's more than 50 billion one of a kind formulas created for you and your hair care needs. I think the whole concept is really cool because I talk a lot about how no two curls are the same, but it's not just curls y'all. Nobody's hair is like anybody else's. There might be some similarities, but nobody's hair is gonna be exactly the same as someone else's hair. Your hair might be different because of dryness or texture or your scalp needs might be different. So while there's no hair care product out there that's gonna work for every single person on this planet, I think it's really cool that Pros is out here making products for you and your hair care needs. And that product for you is definitely gonna be different from the product for me. So how do you get to this in-depth consultation to create your personal product? Well, you basically have to go to pros.com and you can either do this on your cell phone or on your computer, it doesn't really matter, but you go to pros.com and you basically start answering some questions. And these are very specific questions. It starts off a little easy asking you basic questions about your hair, like the condition of your hair. Is it oily? Is it dry? How thick is your hair? What's the density of your hair? I also like that it starts to ask specific questions about your scalp, like do you have flakes? Does it start to itch? Then it starts to ask questions about your future, like are you planning on coloring your hair? Are you planning on adding extensions? Then it gets into your lifestyle, like how often do you work out? What's your normal diet like? Do you stress often? And then when I really like about this consultation is it starts to focus on your environment, right? Like your zip code and where you'll be in the next few months, let's say. And based off of your zip code, it'll narrow down what the UV rays are gonna be like, what pollution is gonna be like, the winds, water hardness, humidity. I love the fact that they focus on humidity. Like your zip code, humidity is 99%. Now I do wanna point out that all three of Pros' main products, the pre-shampoo mask, shampoo, and conditioner are all sulfate, paraben, phthalate, mineral oil, and cruelty-free, but you can take it a step further by customizing it to your liking, making it either vegan, gluten-free, or silicone-free. Hello, curly girls out there. For those of y'all out there who are strict to the curly girl method, you can 100% customize these products to make them curly girl method approved. If you're also someone who is not really big on fragrances, you can select a fragrance-free option. I was really big on the signature scent, which smells amazing, which I'll talk about in a second, but I do wanna let you know that you do have options when it comes to scent too. Last but not least, when it comes to customizing your product, you have to select your goals. What is it that you wanna achieve with your hair? Do you want more volume? Do you want more definition? Do you want more shine? Do you want more smoothness? So once you have all of that done, once you've completed your consultation, that's when it gives you your results and it'll basically break down your hair and your scalp. I feel like this whole time I've had this behind me, but they give you a list of your ingredients and why they're put in the formula online whenever you take your questionnaire, but it's also sent to you in the leaflet, which is included in the package with your products that you wind up selecting. I promise y'all I'm about to get to my in-depth review on each of these products, but I wanna cover the price first. The price is going to depend on your formula because like I said, everyone's formula is gonna be different. So there are gonna be certain ingredients that are going to obviously cost a little bit more than other ingredients in other people's formulas. The shampoo and conditioner are gonna range anywhere from 25 to $32. The pre-shampoo mask is gonna range from 38 to $48. And the newest addition to the pros family, which is the hair oil, is also gonna range between, I wanna say 38 and 48 again. I know my particular formula was $48, but I'll have to double check on the hair oil and I'll leave that information either here on the screen or down in the description box below. I know that some of these prices are gonna sound a little steep to some of my subscribers, but I do wanna mention that the quality is 
absolutely there 100%. Pros really takes their time in understanding your hair care needs and designing a product that's especially made for you and what it is that you need for your hair and your scalp. So now let me get into my products. So I, again, got the pre-shampoo mask, the shampoo, the conditioner, and I'm also gonna talk about the hair oil, which is still fairly new. I'm still sort of testing that out, getting used to it, but I wanna share my experiences about everything. When I took the initial consultation, my diagnostic, I'll read it to y'all, the biggest issue that I had was dryness and damage. And I'll tell you why, because you're probably watching this and you're like, seal. Reese's Rizzles has dryness and damage? Okay, when I took this questionnaire, this consultation, it was basically like right before I was about to color my hair. So whenever I took the consultation, I said, okay, I plan on coloring my hair, bleaching my hair in the next one to three months. So pros already knew I was gonna have some issues with dryness and damage. So that's why it's one of the biggest issues with my diagnostic. My personal hair goals was volume and curl definition. And like I said, my scent that I chose was the signature scent, which is really nice, floral, little airy, little light and refreshing. My main ingredients, in case you're interested, I have vegetal oil, plant collagen, lilac and hyaluronic acid, argan, sacha, sushi, you, su 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 not sushi, cha yushi and jojoba oils, coconut and karanja oils, holly quaternium 72, oat lipid and sunflower seed extract, honey, locust and soybeans, and cornstarch. It tells you what these ingredients are present in, whether it's the mask, shampoo, conditioner, or all of the above. And it also tells you exactly what the ingredients are used for. It also says here that I did select my products to be silicone free. All this is gonna be included in the leaflet, like I said, that's coming in your package with whatever it is that you order. And now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about the products. So when the products come in, the shampoo and conditioner are gonna come with like a twist top, like a cap, but they also come with pumps. So I use the pumps for everything because I just think it's easier to get the products out. They're all gonna have your name on it, which I think is really cool. Mask, shampoo, conditioner, and the oil. First of all, I think this oil looks so luxurious. It's not even funny, but I'll get to that in a second. On each of these bottles, it also explains basically what you're using it for. So my shampoo is to color protect, clarifying wash, and again, it's silicone free. The conditioner is good for curl definition and for a body boost. And then my mask is gonna be used on lengths and it's also used to treat and replenish. And again, it's also silicone free. Another thing that I wanna point out, which again, like I said, is completely unique to everyone's product, is the instructions on how to use it. My pre-shampoo mask is supposed to be used on the lengths of my hair. For other people, it might be directed to use directly on the scalp. It just depends on the condition of your hair or scalp and what, again, your hair and scalp need. That's what I'm saying, the whole focus on what it is that your specific needs are, I think is just, they're so on point with this. So how I use the pre-shampoo mask, basically I apply it onto my dirty hair. I don't need to wash it, I apply it on my dirty hair, mid-length, two ends. I don't apply any of it on my scalp, although this is silicone free and I don't have to worry if it lands on my scalp because I'm gonna be cleansing it after. I do focus the majority of it on my mid-length to ends. I'll leave it in for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I hop in the shower and I rinse it out. I don't use this for every wash, but in the washes that I do use it, I just kind of feel like it leaves my hair a lot stronger. I don't know, maybe it's like a mental thing, but I feel like it does that. It's like a deep conditioner or a protein treatment before washing your hair. The shampoo for me, I think did a fantastic job when it came to clarifying my hair. I know that I mentioned to y'all that I plan on doing a video on some of my top 10 favorite clarifying washes, whether it's sulfate free or not. This is 100% going to be on that list. I promise y'all I have that video coming up soon. But like I said, this does a really great job at keeping my scalp clean, want, like just hitting that reset button once again. While it does hit that reset button on the scalp, it doesn't strip the rest of my hair. It doesn't leave that like squeaky, streaky feeling, you know what I mean, like down the strands of the hair. It doesn't do that at all. It still keeps it pretty moisturized. And I also love the fact that for mine, again, it's color protected. I feel like this kind of review is a little different because I'm speaking about products that are gonna be specifically for me and it's gonna be completely different for your product. Back when I did get these products at first, I was testing it out for a full month where I wasn't testing out any other products because I really wanted to get a feel of pros. During that time, I've never felt my scalp 
more clean. Like I didn't get any itch at all. I was testing out various styling products, but as far as washing my hair, it didn't have any itch and my hair was starting to grow out pretty fast. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that my scalp was a lot healthier. I noticed my hair growth because I actually started using this product right before I got my very first haircut. You know that cut that I was talking about that I felt like wasn't as even as I hoped it was? I had complained almost immediately after the cut that my hair was too short, but I really felt like in that month, my hair was just starting to grow pretty quickly. I feel like a lot of it has to do with the health of my scalp or just the condition that my scalp was in. The conditioner also smells amazing. Thank you to the signature scent. I do wanna point out that the slip wasn't really there the way I would have liked it to be, but in the consultation, it does tell you whenever you select silicone free that the silicone is basically what helps with slip, with shine. So I was already well aware that I probably wasn't going to get shine or slip. I do think that I do get nice shine, first of all, but the slip, I do need a little more help with some water or with a comb or one of those detangling brushes. But once I start to get those knots out, feels a lot slippery after that. Now, one of the things that I noticed whenever I use pros is that after rinsing the conditioner out of my hair with cold water, I feel like my hair doesn't get as dry as fast as it normally does whenever I don't apply any products immediately after the shower. That's how you know you have a really good sign of keeping your hair moisturized after your wash. So all in all, with these three products, I'm pleased with the application process. I'm pleased with how it leaves my hair afterwards. Like I said, with the conditioner, I would have liked a little bit more slip, but that's my own fault because I selected silicone free just like it told me in the questionnaire in the consultation so that's just something to keep in mind if you do select silicone free products now I do want to talk about a little bonus product a little lane yap this is their hair oil it's new like I said to the pros family it came out just a couple of months ago now the label on the hair oil just has my name on it which I think kind of gives it like a nice luxurious look to it the, the bottle is gorgeous y'all look at this and the top is basically a medicine dropper for the oil the hair oil scent is a little bit different I don't know if it's like meant to be scentless, but I do smell a scent that like I said, is different from the rest of my bottles. I've only used this maybe about four to five times and I've had different results then, but I finally feel like I've gotten the hang of how to use it in a way that works for me and my hair type. I have found that if I use this with styling products that are a little heavier for my hair, let's say like creams, I have to be very strategic about how I'm applying this oil. I found that it works a whole lot better for me personally whenever I use it with much lighter products. Now my leaflet does say that the hair oil is supposed to be light enough to use on all hair types obviously depending on your formula you're gonna have different oils in your hair oil than my hair oil so it's gonna be dependent on what it is that you select for your own hair I don't know if I'm making sense of that so like I said for me it works a whole lot better whenever I'm using lighter products like a styling mousse or if I decide to style my hair with less products like less layering or even if I just use it after a leave-in conditioner and just leave it at that I apply it directly onto the palms of my hands maybe about two to three drops I'll rub my palms together and then basically I'll scrunch my ends first because I want the majority of the oils to focus on the ends of my hair and then whatever I have left on my palms then I'll smooth it down the rest of my hair. I found in the very beginning that if I apply the oil directly from here down that after a while throughout the day my hair does start to look a little on the oilier side but again those are on days when I was using heavier styling products like a styling cream. Like I said for me the oil just took a little bit of getting used to but I feel like I finally got it down to a science but I think that's basically it it's four different products I know when I started this video I think I was going to just do the three products but I was like no I kind of want to cover the hair oil too even though my experience has been a little different a little wonky with the hair oil but I'm getting used to it now I'll leave all the information on pros down in the description box below I really hope that you get the chance to try out the consultation for yourself even if it's just to see what it is that your specific hair needs based off of the ingredients, based off of your hair type. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And let me know in a comment below what your specific hair care needs are. After you let me know in a comment below, take a scroll down the comments and see that everyone's hair care needs might be different from yours. And that's the whole point that I'm trying to make. Pros is out here making hair products for you and your hair care needs. I don't know how much more 